When we compare sea level over the last 2,000 years versus the 20th century, what, we, what is the standout conclusion is that the rate of sea level rise in the 20th century is far greater than any of the natural variability that we've seen over the last 2,000 years. One of the most strong pieces of evidence for global warming is the Michael Mann hockey stick curve which shows temperature being relatively stable for 1,500 years, but in the 20th century, temperatures start to increase. So by the time we reach the 1990s, we're recording temperatures that have not been seen for the previous 1,500 years. There is a very strong relationship between sea level and temperature. When temperatures started to increase in the latter part of the 19th century, sea level started to increase. So if we project that into the future, we're very confident sea levels will rise at an increasing rate in the 21st century. If we think about sea level rise or fall, there are factors that affect the oceans and there are factors that affect the land. So if we take the ocean, if you warm ocean water up, it occupies a greater volume and sea level rises. The other thing is water held in ice sheets. If the ice sheets melt, the water goes into the ocean, sea level rises. Every object has its own gravity, and an ice sheet is a colossally large object, so it has a colossally large gravity associated, and water is attracted to those ice sheets. So if sea level rises the result of a melting ice sheet, you also lose gravitational attraction of the water to the ice sheet, so this really strange phenomenon. If Western Antarctic ice sheet melts, perhaps the most sensitive ice sheet on our planet, the hot spot where the sea level rise will be greatest will be Washington, D.C. It's a very complex phenomenon, and that's not thinking about the land at all. If we think about what sea level was like uh, 20,000 years ago, well, temperatures on our planet were much cooler, but we had two large ice sheets. We had a large ice sheet in northwestern Europe, and then we had this colossal Laurentide ice sheet. Its thickness was huge. Over Hudson Bay, it was approximately 4,000 metres thick. Because lots of the ocean water was on these ice sheets, the sea level was some 120 metres below present, and the shoreline was hundreds of kilometres offshore. The Earth is not a brittle, hard solid. It's a deformable, ductile plastic. So when the ice sheet sat on it, it depressed the Earth, and at the margins, it uplifted the Earth. When the ice sheet melted, the areas underneath the ice sheet went up. But the areas at the margins Jersey, Carolinas, going through to Georgia and Florida, subsided, and they are continuing to subside. So the coastlines of much of the US Atlantic coast are sinking, subsiding at rates of one to two millimeters per year. And this has happened through geological time since those ice sheets started to melt and will happen continually into the future. <laughs>